Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good week. Wanted to take a second during this Corona quarantine and I know you have been busy doing all kinds of activities and starting new hobbies, and maybe doing all kinds of crafts and I know that you may be getting close to the bottom of the barrel. So I just wanted to give you a few quick craft ideas that you can do with your family. Um, they're pretty easy. They involve just using things um, that are easy to find at your house. So hopefully you'll enjoy this. I think um, they're, they're so easy anybody could do them. So number one. All right, first craft. What we're gonna take is we are gonna take a water bottle. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open the water bottle. And it's important, you gotta drink it down probably about halfway. All right, once you think you have a good amount, it's, it's helpful if you remove the wrapper. Um, having a little bit of difficulty with that at the moment. Proving to be more difficult than what I anticipated. Um, that's probably the hardest part of this craft. So now you've got your, your water bottle half drank, that's an important thing. And then you're gonna just go out and you're just gonna pick some wildflowers. Place those in to your water bottle and you have a vase. Now that's pretty easy and I think anybody could do it. Now the one thing I wanna show you about your vase is that it's clear, so it mimics the finest crystal. You could put this anywhere in your house to really fancy up the place. The other thing I want you to note is that these things are not biodegradable. So what you have here, you've created something that will last for generations and generations. And it's so easy. So I just want you to think about that. Um, that's, the, that's the first craft, we'll move on from here. Hey guys, our second craft is going to be a dream catcher. I know you've seen these before. They are yarn um, creations. You use some wire or some popsicle sticks. Well, I'm just gonna use a hanger. I found this hanger. I would have liked to have had a whole metal hanger. I didn't have any. And so I'm using one of these with a the cardboard um, tube at the end. I think that will work just fine. But the first thing you're gonna do is you're just gonna make a diamond shape like this. So see, I just made that diamond, and then you're gonna take a little yarn, and you're gonna start wrapping it around this, this uh, pentagon shape that you've now created. And it's gonna catch your dreams. I don't really know the purpose of a dream catcher. I don't really know the purpose of a dream catcher. I think it is to catch your dreams and to keep them from coming to fruition. Um, I think that's the purpose, if I remember right, um, from all the, from long ago when I was taught, just to keep those dreams from coming to fruition. And I'm not, not sure why you would want something like that. Um, tell you what, we're going to table that one, um, and we're, we're going to go on to the next one. All right, our third craft, which I'm super excited about, um, is... Super cool. You're gonna take a yam or a potato. Um, if I would have had a potato, I would have used it, but hey, these are desperate times. Groceries are hard to come by. So I had a yam at my house. So I'm gonna take this yam. And what I'm making is a potato pin holder. So you just simply take your pin, right? Writing utensil. And sometimes it's hard to find a pin and you're sitting at your desk and you don't know where to look and you just can't find one. You don't want to dig through your backpack. Maybe you don't have a drawer at your desk like I do. So this potato uh, pin holder comes in handy. So you're just going to take a pin, hold it to the potato, and then you're just going to stab the potato, right? And it, this works so good. Look. There we go. So you've just got, it, it can hold a bunch depending on the size of your potato really determines how many pins you can hold. So see, now I have this on my desk. If I need a pin, it's right there. It's, it's easy, easy, easy. And these are crafts anyone can do. Now, the one thing, unlike the water bottle, the water bottle was not biodegradable and would last for millennia. Your potato pin holder, not so much. You will need to make a new potato pin holder every couple weeks or when you start noticing kind of an oozing on your desk would probably be a good time to go ahead and rotate that through. 
Very simple. I think you can handle it. All right, guys, our last craft for today. Uh, you're gonna need some paper and a stapler. Now, I couldn't find all the same kind of paper, and it really doesn't matter. I found all different kinds. I've got some graph paper in here. I have some construction paper, some manila paper. I have some copy paper. And really, you just got to make sure that you don't have too much paper. Um, that's, that's the main thing, because you need your stapler to be able to staple through your stack of paper. So all you're going to do is you're going to just line up all the paper on one edge here. And, you know, right now, while we can't really get out and go to the store, it's kind of like making your own spiral notebook. You're just three staples. That's all it takes. So you're just going to come and you're going to, so you might have to hit your stapler kind of hard because my stack is pretty thick. So I'm going to hit hard. It might have been a little too hard. There we go. So now what I have here, it's like a book. And what I'm going to use that for is my Corona journal, where I can journal about this whole experience and what it's been like. I think I'll start now. Y'all have a good day, and I hope you try some of these crafts. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll give you a bonus craft. I know that's what you were wanting. All right, so I know a few years ago, it was really cool to make duct tape wallets, duct tape. There was all kinds, you could buy fun kinds of duct tape, and we know that we saw those all around. And there were all kinds of YouTube videos, and you can make purses and wallets. Well, I have another duct tape creation for you. Now, I know many times you've gone to probably Starbucks or to some other coffee shop, and you go and you get your coffee, and it's super hot. So what do they do? They place a cardboard sleeve around it to keep your hands from getting burnt. I am so appreciative of that. And so I thought, can we do that? And so you can, if you say you've got a hot beverage, right? You've got your hot drink and you are ow, 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 so hot, right? Well, look at this, you got some duct tape. I'll tell you what you do. You just take the duct tape and you put the cup in it. Look, hands not hot. It works so good. And it's such an easy craft. It's such an easy craft. Anyone can do it. Till next time, we'll see you later.